Skeletons of the Marital Closet by Wen Tang Tang Chapter 1361 Sean gulped. If she continued, he would not be able to control himself. After waiting for so long and trying everything, Nicole finally returns to us. What a happy thing this is. Just smile, Gail said. Sean lowered his head suddenly and kissed her lips deeply. Gail did not even realize it. His lips tasted of him, a faint tobacco taste. She blinked her eyes and slightly parted her red lips, wanting to respond. But Sean suddenly backed away from her lips. Gail was dumbfounded. What was that for? Quick fix? Was he teasing her? Seeing Gail's expression, Sean raised his eyebrows deeply, in a good mood. However, he did not show it and was as indifferent as before. What? Do you really want me to continue? Do you think it was too short-lived? When the red light turned green, Sean continued driving. It's not. Gail's face felt hot, and she hurried back to the co-pilot and sat down. What the hell was he doing? Was it a kiss or was it not a kiss? What's worse, she wanted to respond to him. However, he pulled away, which made her feel empty, as if she really wanted him to continue kissing her. If a woman says no, she doesn't want it. But sometimes she also wants it. Sean tapped the steering wheel with his fingertips. I understand. You can assume anything you want. Then why are you blushing? I feel hot. Sean listened and lowered the temperature of the air conditioner a little. The air conditioning was so cold that Gail wanted to wear a coat. However, she had to play on because she just said she was hot. She touched her lips and suddenly thought of something. Are you smoking? Yes. When? I didn't see it. Except for not sleeping in the same bed at night, she and Sean have been inseparable. The strong tobacco taste in his mouth did not taste like it was from just one or two cigarettes. Recently, I've been upset and have insomnia. When I can't sleep or when I'm thinking about work, I'll take one, Sean replied. One after another, he could not stop. You have insomnia again? Why didn't you tell me? Gail said. You have a cure? Of course I have. Do you remember when we first got married? I made you a sleeping sachet, she said proudly. I remember. Was it helpful? Sean smiled. Yes. Gail snapped her fingers. I'll make you another sachet, so you can sleep till dawn. Unexpectedly, Sean refused. No need. Huh? Why? Was he still angry? How could he be so angry? He did not even want the sachet she made. Just when Gail was startled and suspicious, Sean said, I won't suffer from insomnia if I hug you to sleep. Gail swallowed her saliva. So that was what he meant. Chapter 1362 the sachets are good. Carry it with you. It's small and exquisite, and you can use it when you go for lunch breaks. It can also calm your nerves. I'll add a few flavors for you, she laughed dryly. Sean interrupted her. Nothing is as useful as you. Gail started to play dumb and said, Oh, then she turned to look out of the car window. It was late at night when they got home. There was silence, with only crickets chirping nonstop. Gail went straight to Nicole's bedroom. On her pink princess bed, Nicole was lying on her side, sleeping soundly with the doll in her arms. There were still tear stains on her cheeks. Nicole, my Nicole. Gail's heart was about to melt. After a lot of hard work, her precious daughter finally returned to normal. 
from now on, she no longer had to pretend to be ugly or old, and she did not have to be worried that Nicole would dislike her. Gail reached out and tucked the quilt carefully. After going through so much, her view of Sean changed greatly. Now Nicole had finally returned to normal, and she could not continue separating Nicole and Joshua. Some things needed to be discussed openly. Gail should have confidence in herself, the two children, and Sean. He really was no longer the Sean he was four years ago. Find a chance and explain it clearly to Sean. He is always displeased with Joshua. Father and son cannot dislike each other. Gail said to herself. The matter was very important, and Gail had to carefully consider how to bring this up to Sean. He would be angry. She obviously gave birth to twins, and Gail had to carefully consider how to bring this up to Sean. He would be angry. She obviously gave birth to twins, but she kept it from him. She only allowed him to meet Nicole because she needed his bone marrow. It would be hard for Sean to calm down. It would be even harder to coax him. It's better to find a time when he is in a good mood to then tell him about Joshua. I still have to plan how to coax him and what to do to calm him. Gail got up and walked out of the bedroom. The doorway was quiet and empty. She thought that Sean would wait for her at the door, but she seemed to be overthinking it. She felt an Explicably lost and empty. Gail shook her head. What am I expecting? Let him suffer with his insomnia. It's he who doesn't want the sachet I made. Having said that, her eyes still looked toward the master bedroom unconsciously. The door was closed tightly. Was he asleep? Or was he in the study room? Just as Gail passed the master bedroom, the door creaked open. She was caught off guard. She was taken aback. A hand stretched out from the door and pulled her straight in. Ah! Gail screamed and stumbled into the master bedroom. Inside, it was pitch black. Everything happened so fast that she did not even have time to react. Immediately afterward, the door closed and Gail's back was pressed tightly against the door. In the next second, Sean's body leaned over with his knees pressed against her legs. He put one hand next to her ear, trapping her in his arms. Sean? Gail called tentatively. Yes, my dear? The low, magnetic, husky male voice sounded extremely familiar. It was him. Gail breathed a sigh of relief. I didn't know if it was you. Who else could be here? Why are you sneaking around and dragging me in without a word? I thought it was a bad guy, Gail asked. Chapter 1363 Tonight, you can treat me as a bad guy. Gail immediately became vigilant. What do you mean? If I invite you into the master bedroom, you will definitely refuse. If I forcibly drag you in, you will struggle. Nicole would wake up and guards would come storming in. That would not be the best either. I could only do this, Sean said. As soon as Gail passed by the master bedroom, he would immediately pull her in. Then, the door would be closed and locked. Just let him do whatever he wanted. You cheat. Gail did not expect that he had been waiting here just to drag her into the master bedroom. Sean admitted openly and frankly, Yes. What a thick skin, Gail snorted. Her eyes gradually adjusted to the dark master bedroom, and she was able to see a little bit clearly. Sean's tall figure the slightly fluttering curtains in the distance, the outline of the bedside lamp. Why don't you turn on the light? She said, reaching out to fumble for the switch next to her. When she was about to turn on the light, Sean pulled her hand back to him. I like it this way. Gail muttered. 
I can't see anything clearly. It's better that way. You will get used to it, Sean replied. Huh? Gail sensed something was wrong. There was more to what he said. It was because she could treat him as a bad person, and it was because she would get used to not turning on the lights. Could it be that he really wanted to sleep with her in her arms? Did he mean what he said in the car? Only then did Gail feel a sense of crisis. She was calm a moment before, but she started to panic, wanting to struggle find the right opportunity to slip away. Gail moved back and forth in Sean's arms, groping for where the doorknob was and thinking about how to run out. While thinking about it, Sean said, Don't move. Gail ignored him. She would be a fool not to move. Seize every minute and every second. Gailey, don't move. Otherwise, I will not be responsible for the consequences. Sean repeated again, his voice becoming rough. Gail still did not listen. She wanted to run. It was pitch black, coupled with the metaphorical words Sean said. Any fool would know what would happen next. She was ravaged by him once. It happened when she was asleep, and she woke up finding her neck full of marks. She did not drink alcohol or get drunk this time. She was extremely sober. Gail fumbled around and found the doorknob. Finally, just when she was about to open it, her body lightened suddenly. Hey, hey! Gail soared into the air. Sean picked her up and walked toward the big bed. She had to hook her arms around his neck to prevent herself from falling. Sean, what are you going to do? Gail panicked. What do you think? Let me out! Impossible. Chapter 1364 Sean was very tough. Since returning from Aram's house, he had behaved a little strangely. When he was in the car, he was angry and ignored her. But now he was unreasonable. Gail thumped Sean's chest. You can't force me. You can't. Is it? Yes. Do you want me to hate you again? Do you want to lose all the goodwill you have slowly accumulated with me? Gail replied loudly. Sean paused. Hate me again? Goodwill? Gailey, don't tell me you already don't hate me. Gail did not expect him to be so smart and he could understand what she was saying. She wanted to deny it but felt it was unnecessary. She thought admitting it would make him proud again. So, Gail had an idea and said, If you let me out tonight, I won't hate you. Otherwise, I will hate you even more and even dislike you. Very well, I will. Gail was stunned for a moment, a little in disbelief. Is it true? Yes. Are you sure? Gail asked. I'm sure. Sean replied and added, Anyway, it's just a night. We have tomorrow night, the day after tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Gail understood what he meant was to let her go tonight. There were still many days to come. In the darkness, Sean and Gail looked at each other. Gail heard a pounding heartbeat and she did not know if it was hers or Sean's. After a long time, Gail looked away. We, as soon as she said that, Sean took two quick steps forward and pushed her down. Gail fell on the big bed, soft bed. Her petite body sank into it. Sean put his hands on her side. Their lips were only one centimeter apart. They would touch if any of them moved. However, Sean did not take the next step. Gail was so nervous that she almost stopped breathing and unconsciously grabbed his shirt. She was afraid their lips would meet. Once it met, they would be out of control. Sean, hmm? What is he going to do? 
Gail once suspected that Sean did it on purpose. He just kept a little distance on purpose. He did not kiss her, but did not back down either. Let us see how long she could last. Sean had always been patient. What's wrong? Gaily, I didn't do anything, he asked. Get up! My legs are numb. I can't move, Sean said. Give me some time. Gail swallowed, looked at his thin lips, and asked cautiously, How long do you need? I don't know. My legs haven't been numb for a long time, Sean said. Gail thought it would be impossible to maintain this posture for long. She wanted to save herself. Then should I give you a massage? She suggested. Her lips had to pout a little because of the pronunciation. Their lips met. However, it was only for a second. The strange yet familiar sensation made her tremble slightly. Chapter 1365 Sean definitely noticed it, but he ignored it. He said, Do you know how to give a massage? Their lips meet again. Yes, I do. Gail nodded. Sean nodded. You can try. He got up and laid on the bed. Gail glanced at the door. How could she run faster than Sean's long legs? Massage first to buy time. Where is it numb? Here? Here? Gail asked, pressing her hands on his leg. No. Where is it then? Gail resisted the urge to roll her eyes because she knew Sean was fine and the numbness in his legs was an excuse. However, she just continued massaging. She had to comply. Here. Sean took her hand, slowly moved up, and finally landed on the base of his thigh. Gail's hands trembled. Here? She asked, again in disbelief. Yes, massage it, Sean said. He lay leisurely and contentedly, with his hands behind his head, looking at her with a slight smile. She should not be touching him there. The distance was extremely dangerous. What's wrong? You asked to give a massage. Why aren't you moving? Sean asked. You! Gail gritted her teeth. Huh? What's wrong? Gaily, I haven't touched a single strand of your hair since you entered the master bedroom until now. Sean raised his eyebrows deeply. Yeah, he did not. However, he was torturing her in another way. Gail was about to cry. Can I massage somewhere else? Nope. He was still confident. Gail could not bear it anymore. She rushed over and bit Sean's shoulder hard. What do you want? Gail has been grinding her teeth secretly for a long time and she has long wanted to bite him. Too much deception. Of course, she did not dare to use too much force. He put his hand on Gail's waist and hugged her. Really? You are going to bite me? Gail replied vaguely. Yes, you have to be responsible for biting and hurting me. Gail relaxed a little bit, looking at him fiercely. Okay, at worst, I will apply some medicine for you and help you change the dressing every day. Besides, I haven't seen any blood. Then why am I in so much pain? Hey, don't pretend! Gail pulled off his collar and exposed his shoulders. See for yourself! There are really only marks. I can't see it. I'll take a picture for you to see. Gail wanted to get her mobile phone. Her waist tightened as soon as she turned around. And the world spun. Before she knew it, she was already firmly pressed down by Sean. She was about to speak when her red lips parted slightly, allowing Sean to invade her successfully. He entangled her. They breathed disorderly. Chapter 1366 Sean tried little by little, but he was not very tough. He was also afraid that she would be disgusted 
that she would reject him and hate him. From observing Gail's resistance at the beginning to her behavior now, it seemed that she also acquiesced. They are married. Nicole often said that they should sleep together because other people's parents had done so. Not to mention, she had already slept with Sean once before. These are normal. However, Gail wanted to push him away. Just as she put her hand on his chest, he grabbed her. On a hazy night, Gail thought to herself that she still loved him. His love was something that no other man had ever brought to her nor could bring her. Only Sean could do it. Only him. In the beginning, Sean was very cautious and did not dare to take any further actions until she responded. Only then did he knew that she was willing. The moonlight was very bright, reflecting on the grounds of the home. The moon set and the sun rose. The silver-gray moonlight before the window had turned into a crimson, warm sun. Sean and Gailey lay in each other's arms peacefully. They hugged each other to sleep. A picturesque as beautiful. Such a beautiful scene was broken by a knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Sean woke up, looked down at the woman in his arms, and got up lightly. He planned to scold the person who knocked on the door. Who dared? Sean had always been self-disciplined. He would never stay in bed on weekdays. He would arrive at the company on time, and there was no need for a servant to remind him to get up. So, who would be so blind? It better be something important. As soon as the door creaked open, Sean's expression instantly softened. Daddy, was it I in the hospital? I woke up and I am home, called him sweetly. And because the doctor said that you can be discharged from the hospital, you are a very healthy child now. Nicole jumped up happily. Yay, my illness is finally cured. Hush, mommy is still sleeping. Don't wake her up, Sean said. Nicole quickly covered her mouth, her eyes sparkling. However, it was too late. Gail had already woken up. She heard Nicole's voice in her sleep and opened her eyes in a daze. Nicole? Is it Nicole? She sat up from the bed. Yes, yes, it's me. Nicole could not hold back her emotions. She walked around Sean and ran into the master bedroom. She sat up from the bed. Mommy, I can really leave the hospital. Is my leukemia cured? Gail reached out to catch her, hugged her, and sat on the edge of the bed. Yes, you are really healthy now. That's great! Nicole looked at Sean, who walked in. Thank you, Daddy, for the bone marrow. Sean patted her head. This is what daddy should do. Chapter 1367 Nicole smiled even more happily till her eyes narrowed into slits. Gail also laughed. Then I won't bother mommy and daddy. Go ahead and sleep in. Gail was a little embarrassed. Memories of last night flooded her mind, one scene after another. However, she could not remember much after that. She was too sleepy and tired, and her whole body was limped and lifeless. She knew Sean carried her to the bathroom and helped her into some new pajamas. Daddy and Mommy are supposed to sleep together. When we were in the hospital, the bed was so small, and you were squeezed together. Now the bed at home is so big, it's big enough for both of you, Nicole said. Bye-bye. She ran away quickly and closed the door. Gail did not know whether to laugh or cry. Nicole returned to normal. She was eccentric, cheerful, and lively, sweeping away the dull, melancholic, and preoccupied appearance before. This was what she wanted to see her daughter look like. Carefree, happy, and innocent. Nicole doesn't remember what happened after being infected. It's okay. It shouldn't be there in the first place, Gail said. Forget it. It was the best ending. Diagnosed with leukemia, 
father's bone marrow match, successful bone marrow transplant, and starting a new and healthy life after waking up. These are all of Nicole's coherent memories. Winnie disappeared into thin air. It was exactly what Sean and Gail wanted. You also act like Winnie has never appeared, and Nicole has never forgotten you. Sean bent down and sat down beside the bed. Don't take to heart what she said before that hurt you. Gail smiled. How could I? She just misidentified me at that time. But all her care and love were still given to the person she loves the most. Nicole's favorite was, of course, Mommy. Yes, in Nicole's heart, you ranked first. Joshua is ranked second, and I ranked third? Sean pursed his lips deeply. Gail was even happier. Who else could be third? Father-in-law or her kindergarten teacher? Gail laughed and fell on the bed. Sean, your status is a bit low. He raised his eyebrows. Is it so funny? Hmm, I should ask Nicole just now, who is the third in her heart? I won't argue that you are number one. However, I cannot accept Joshua. Sean replied. Joshua's so good. When Nicole was controlled by the spell, he was the one who comforted and accompanied Nicole. Otherwise, Nicole would always be angry with you and ignore you. You two are all the same when you are angry. You would ignore people and be cold and violent. Gail raised her hand and poked Sean's chest. You men should reflect on why you always make women angry. Sean held her hand deeply, put it on his lips, and kissed it lightly. Gail was suddenly filled with happiness. If life could always be like this... How sublime. Having a lover, children, a job, a career, and friends, what a perfect life. The first half of her life, she suffered. The second half of her life, she enjoyed herself. Were you angry last night? Sean asked casually. Gail blushed. Chapter 1368 Gail thought for a long time before choking out. You, you're a hooligan. It's you who didn't let me out. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Her voice got softer and softer. Sean could not hear her clearly. He asked, You didn't stop me, so I... Okay, don't say it. I'll get angry. Gail interrupted him hastily. He gave a low laugh. What's to be angry about? It's you who has been always angering me recently. Gailey, when will you be able to humor me a little bit? He did not want much. He did not even dare to compare with Arum. Arum was the one she loved. What was him to her? Just the father of the child? Sean's eyes were so sincere that Gail did not dare to look at them for a long time. She looked away. I'm going to brush my teeth. If she stayed any longer, the thing that happened yesterday might happen again. Sean looked at her with hungry eyes. However, what Gail did not expect was that as soon as her feet hit the ground, she could not stand up. Ouch! She bent her knees and fell straight to the ground, unable to support herself at all. Fortunately, Sean was beside her and he quickly grabbed her and wrapped her in his arms. What's wrong? Weak legs? He asked. Maybe, well, I got up too fast, so my legs were wobbly. Is that so? Yes. Sean did not expose her, but just said, Take a moment. Okay. Gail bit her lower lip, dying of embarrassment. How could her legs be weak? Sean was not too strong, was he? Was her physical strength too weak? Or has she not experienced sex for too long? The night when she was drunk and forcibly touched Sean, she woke up the next day without feeling anything. She could eat, drink, run, and walk with no issues. Sean! Gail suddenly thought of something and looked up at him. Hmm? 
Why do I feel uncomfortable this time? Uncomfortable? Then should I be gentle next time? Sean looked at her. Next time? No, you misunderstood me. The time I was drunk before, not only did I forget, I didn't feel any discomfort. But this time, the feeling is stronger, Gail said. Sean's expression suddenly became slightly weird. However, he hid it very quickly. The more Gail thought about it, the more strange it became. Why? It's going on. It's unlikely. And it shouldn't be. Chapter 1369 Don't think about it. How can the experience be the same every time? Sean coughed twice. Gail thought so too. Okay, seeing her frowning, Sean was really afraid that she would realize the truth, so he urged. Go and wash up. Nicole is still waiting for us to have breakfast together. Gail nodded in response. She turned and walked to the bathroom. Sean secretly heaved a sigh of relief and went to the cloakroom to change. At this moment, Gail, who had just walked two steps, suddenly turned around. Wait! Hmm? Gail said. Something is wrong. Sean, tell me the truth. He remained calm. About what? Don't pretend to be stupid. This time is obviously different from the last time. Even if I'm drunk and unconscious, I would have felt something. She was not an ignorant girl who knew nothing. During the four years of separation from Sean, she never experienced something like that. After returning to Sea City, she and Sean had only sex two times. She was too flustered last time, and she felt it was too unbelievable. She actually took the initiative and made a move on Sean, and then he had no choice but to have sex with her. It sounded so awkward and uncharacteristic of her. She was very shy when she kissed him in public. Gail pointed at him while staring at him and slowly walked back to him. Sean, you lied to me. Sean was still very calm. When did I lie to you? You are really good at acting. No wonder Ja. No wonder Joshua's temperament was so similar to his. She almost slipped. Gail stopped abruptly and continued. Last time, I didn't do anything at all. You didn't need to do anything, Sean replied. Where would she need to do anything? It was all him. Don't change the subject. I mean, I didn't force you. I didn't take off your clothes. It was you. Sean's face remained unchanged, and he admitted, yes. Anyway, she had guessed it. Any further denial would only make things worse. That, that's you. Gail bit her lip and stomped her feet. You were the one who took advantage of me when I was drunk and then blatantly made me feel awkward after. She understood now. That was it. How can you do such a thing? Gail became increasingly annoyed as she thought about it. It made me wonder for a few days. Am I so bad when I'm drunk? She also swore secretly that she would never drink alcohol in the future so as not to cause accidents. As a result, he lied to her. Sean, how can you lie to me like this? After taking advantage of me, you still say that I took the initiative and blamed me for drinking? Sean took a step forward and pressed his big palm against her back. Okay, Gail, it's all over. Gail stared at him. You better give me an explanation. Why did you lie to me? After thinking about it, Sean asked, Are you angry because I want you or because I lied to you? All of them. Then, what if I told you that nothing happened that night? Sean asked. Chapter 1370 Gail was completely stunned. Nothing happened? She turned her head around all of a sudden. It took her a long time to say, That night? You slept soundly. I just hugged you, Sean explained. Then my clothes. 
You said it's hot and took it off. Gail blinked. Then your clothes? I'm hot too. How could he not be hot? The beloved woman was right next to him in his arms, but he could only watch but not touch her. Was that something ordinary men can bear? Sean did not know how many cold showers he took. So there's nothing at all? And you made it all up? Gail said. Yes. You! Gail was about to vomit blood. Gailey, don't tell me you hope it really happened. Sean said softly. Gail did not know what to say at all, so she could only keep stomping her feet. Sean! Okay, I was wrong. I just wanted to tease you. He coaxed her. Then you should explain it to me afterward. Sean hugged her into his arms and put his chin against her heart. If I told you the truth at that time, you wouldn't believe it. But you did say that the clothes were hot and you took them off with my help. Gailey, I want you very much. I am afraid that if I want you, you will be angry, hate me, and ignore me. After thinking about it, I deliberately made up a reason to tease you and want to see your reaction. In fact, Gail's reaction was beyond Sean's expectations. That time, she was annoyed and regretted, but she did not feel angry. This showed that she actually did not hate his touch. It was because of the previous trial that Sean succeeded this time. Once Gail showed great resistance, he would not dare to be so presumptuous, let alone succeed easily. Gail did not know what to say anymore. Sean, your games have really improved, she said fiercely. Well, there is only you in the whole world, and it is worth my effort to pave the way for you. You are such a sweet talker. Sean lowered his head and leaned closer. Sweet, would you like to taste it? Gail pushed him away directly. I don't want to see you now. He smiled, let go of her hand, and let her go to the bathroom. Gail slammed the door on purpose. She was mad. However, she secretly wanted Sean to coax her. However, how could Gail have the nerve to be angry? It's too embarrassing. In case someone asked, how would she explain it? How would Sean explain it? Did it happen because the two of them did not sleep together and fought? Therefore, Gail could only sulk. If she had known earlier that nothing had happened last time, Gail would not have let him succeed last night. What she thought last night was that it happened once. The second time is fine, let alone a couple. Ah, uh, Sean was too calculating. He really thought 800 steps ahead. Downstairs, aromatic smells came from the dining hall.